y'all and welcome to today's video. I have I think 10 palettes here in front of me and I'm ready to review them for y'all. I love doing these speed reviews because I do a lot of like looks, first impression videos on my channels, get ready with me. It's where I really like to play with palettes. Eyeshadow palettes are like my number one favorite thing. I buy a ton of palettes. Listen, even before I was on YouTube, I bought a ton of eyeshadow palettes. It's my favorite. I love creating looks. I love doing that type of stuff, showing y'all new stuff. But I always like to follow up after I've really had time to play with the palette more, test it, try it in different ways. When I have my full thoughts, I want to sit down with y'all and I want to give y'all my full review on palettes. So that's what we're going to do today. Like I said, I think I have about 10. We're just going to move through these. I'm going to give you a review in a couple of minutes. Speed reviews. It's going to be a good fun time. And if you're new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here on my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. I upload lots of new videos every single week, so I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today uh, because I don't want you to miss out on any of my fun content. You watching my videos and liking my videos, commenting helps me out so, so much. So thank you for being here. But some of these palettes are palettes that I've been testing for weeks. Some I think I may be testing for a month or more, but these are just palettes that I'm like, you know what? I've had them out. I've been playing with them. I'm ready to fully review these. So let's jump into it. Okay, I'm just going to grab these and we're going to talk about them. The Bard palette from Fantasy Cosmetica. This is a beautiful palette. This is the third palette that Fantasy Cosmetica has released. And I felt like this was a perfect fall color story. Now, I want to tell you all the palettes that I'm going to talk about today, I do have videos on, tutorials with. So you can check out those videos if you want to see close up swatches, looks, how the palette performs. Some of these, I also think I have tutorials and videos on over on either Instagram or TikTok. You definitely don't have to check those out if you don't want to, but they're there in case you're curious. I'll also link everything down below. If I have discount codes, coupon codes, affiliate codes, anything like that, it will be in the description box. But this is the uh, Bard palette. I really like that Fantasy Cosmetica has been sticking with this gaming theme. I think it's really a lot of fun, but this is, this is a beautiful fall color story. I love to get inspired by the seasons, but I definitely don't do my makeup based on the season. So if I don't know what to do or I want to shop my stash, I love pulling out fall tones, but I'll also rock a neon in December. Listen, I don't care. I do what I want to do. But if you're looking for a fall color story, you want to get some inspiration. I think this one's a lot of fun. The matte formula in here, I definitely think is elevated from their first two palettes. The mattes in the first two palettes I really liked, don't get me wrong, but it's like you've heard the saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, I felt like Fantasy Cosmetica was like, it's not broke, but we're going to make it even better. Like, you know, we're at a good level, but then they're like, the next level's the level. So they took it to the next level. I had a great time working with this palette. The shimmers are beautiful. You have a multi-chrome in here, very sparkly, very hush on, very fun palette. I like the nine pan format. I feel like there, there's a lot of options in here and I've really, really had fun playing with this palette. I do have a code with Fantasy Cosmetica. Of course, you don't have to use it, but if you want to, my code is Heather. Again, that will all be in the description box. Also, sorry, side note, I realized you can't really see much. No, you hang up. How cute is that? I love this sweatshirt. I wanted to show it to you. Now, I'm not going to link it down below. I actually bought this. I love supporting indie brands independently owned brands, brands that are not owned by a huge corporation, not just in makeup. So I actually bought this from a local small business, but unfortunately I had a bad kind of customer experience with the business. And my sister-in-law also bought this from them. She had a not so great experience, but I will say if you go on Etsy, because I always recommend y'all support small business, go on Etsy and you type in like, no, you hang up shirt, this type of design will come up. So I wanted to, I just wanted to show you all that because I'm so happy with it. 
Okay, Beauty Bay New Mood Palette. <laughs> this one, this is a larger palette, so it did take me a little bit longer to review, but this is a great palette. Beauty Bay, they make palettes at a great price point. This palette, I think, is 18 US dollars. Don't quote me on that, but usually Beauty Bay will run a sale or something like that too, so you can save an additional amount. And their formulas are really, really nice. The mattes are beautiful, the shimmers are beautiful. They have different shimmer formulas in here. Some that are the more like creamy shimmers to where if you touch, you know, if you press your finger in there, it will imprint in the pan. I really like that formula. We have that here with this blue shade. And then we have the um, shade up here that's their shimmer formula that is a little more dry, but not in a bad way, just more of like a hot impact, but traditional shimmer. The color story in here is really beautiful. I really like these kind of blue leaning purple shades, blurple shades, if you will. I really like the hot pink. I love that the palette goes very dark because we have this black and this dark blue and this dark brown. And then we also have some very light tones with this pink to white duochrome over here, this blue to white duochrome here. Really pretty color story, really, really great price point. Okay, Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Hudson Valley palette. My code with Nomad is Heather. This is beautiful. Now this is a mostly matte palette. I like the Nomad mattes. What I really like about this palette as well is that we have these two columns over here that are cool leaning shades. Even these brown shades, they're more on the cool side and so are these greens, which I think is really fun. And then we have two columns of warm mattes. So I love that we have warm and cool mattes in this palette. We only have three shimmers here. They're very pretty shimmers though with interesting different shifts in the shimmer. I think it's very, very beautiful. We have a nice mirror and this is just overall a very fun fall color story, of course. I love that we have a true red. I mean, you can see what I'm wearing today. Like, I I'm into the red tones, right? But this palette too, I've also had a good time. Like I said, because we do have mostly mattes, we have 12 matte shades. I've enjoyed pairing this with some of my multi-chromes that I have from other brands, like some of my other singles. I've even done a look where I mixed this palette with my collab palette from Adept because I have some multi-chromes in that palette that I think really pair nicely with these mattes. Overall, I've just had a really, really fun time with this one. I think Nomad continues to improve. I actually, like maybe at the end of the year or towards December, maybe I could do a Nomad palette ranking video because they've just been putting out some really, really good palettes. Okay, let's touch on the Huda Beauty Empowered palette. Now, this is the first time I'm trying Huda Beauty's large palettes. Listen, y'all basically bullied me into buying this. <laughs> and I say that with love because I've been wanting to try Huda's large palettes. The only palettes I had tried from her previously were her small neon palettes. And y'all let me know that her large palettes have the better formula, they're better performing, and you love them. Now, this palette is very expensive. And I do take into consideration when I'm reviewing palettes, the price point. I think no matter what, if a palette is $5 or $105, it should be good. It should be good, you know, and, and I want to wear good makeup. And this palette, I said in my video, it's good. It's a good palette. I think a lot of people watched that video and they did not hear me say, it is a good palette. It is not my favorite palette. For me, there are way better formulas on the market. Did this palette perform well? Yes. Were the looks I created pretty? Yes. Is it my favorite? Absolutely not. I'm just like, for me looking at this and I got so many comments, please try it more, try it more, try it more. I did. I will never review a palette after just trying it once or twice. I like to test and try and manipulate and play. And th here's the thing with makeup. And, and I say this, but I want you to really, really hear me. We can have differences of opinions when it comes to makeup. I may love something and you may hate it. It doesn't mean we have to insult one another. Somebody even was like, oh, well, you like such and such brand better because your lids are mature. Yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> 
the, I mean, and that's fine. Listen, you know what it is. Like that's why the block delete hide button is there for people who come in and insult me. It's there. So you don't have to be like, oh, I'm so sorry. People were mean to you. It, it, it is what it is these days. But this palette, it's a good palette. I'm not recommending it. It's not going on my favorite because it's not my favorite. And I'm not going to say this is the best palette ever just because everybody else loves it i'm here to give you my thoughts my review to me this is a good palette is it my favorite palette no does it make me want to try more huda shadows no i'm not saying i'll never buy anything else from huda because it's not a terrible palette but it is a very expensive palette and I have palettes I like better, especially neutral palettes. I did a whole video because a lot of people too were saying like, well, you hate neutrals. Well, first of all, you don't know me. That's a lie. <laughs> I love neutrals. I love neutrals. I love color. I have a video that I did recently. I want to say just a few months ago on my favorite neutral palettes. Most of those were less expensive than this one. And I don't mind paying for eyeshadows. Like I, I don't mind. I, I'm that person. Like I will invest in some eyeshadows, but it's just not a personal favorite. If you love it though, guess what? I love it for you. Rock that palette. If that's your favorite palette of the year, I'm glad because listen, when I spend my money and I buy things, I want to love it. When you spend your money and you buy things, I want you to love it. It's just, listen, the good thing is when you're, when, when Huda is launching that palette, it's one less person that's going to be buying it. So more for you, right? That's how I look. That's how I look at things. When people tell me, oh, I don't like colorful shadow. Great. More for me. Okay. Uh, I hope, uh, yeah, the, the reviews are fun. Reviews are fun. I love this Barbie palette so much. And when I first saw it, I was like, Oh, it's all so bright, which you know I'm a fan of. But you know what? They did something with the, these two columns over here. These two columns right here made the whole palette so versatile in my opinion. I did a video, I think three looks with this palette because I was so excited about it. And I did buy the new Scooby-Doo collection, by the way. I bought the whole thing. I could was the excitement that I feel for that collection is really, really real. But these two columns right here have beautiful tones. If you're somebody who you're like, I want my makeup to match the season, you've got the prettiest fall tones here. Like this grungy, like mm, baby diaper poopy brown right here. This beautiful yellow. These tones right here. You can even pull in these like so beautiful. The Glam Light formula, I love. These mattes, beautiful. The shimmers, beautiful. Everything about this palette absolutely beautiful and of course barbie like i love barbie i even bought like i i didn't buy they glam light sent me this one i bought the scooby-doo collection glam light did send me that i'm saving my pr box because i want to give it to my niece i think the box was so cute listen she can't have the makeup she's too young for me and it's mine <laughs> But the box I'm saving because I think the box is going to be so cute. Like as she gets older and gets into Barbies, if she wants, she can like put their clothes in there. Like it's going to be so cute. I just think that whole theming, the campaign, everything. I mean, it's a small, small thing to some, but I think it's huge. We have Barbies in three different skin tones on the front. Like that's worth celebrating to me. I think Glam Light is doing such amazing things with inclusivity in their campaigns in so many areas, not just in skin tones, but they're being so inclusive with gender and body types. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it. If Glam Light, if you ever watch this, you're doing amazing. <laughs> so I, I couldn't review this palette. Like I went to sit down. I'm like, no, I have to point this out. I know I pointed that out in my video on this collection, but just looking at the cover of this palette, just looking at it, it honestly, it makes me so happy. It makes me, it, it just, yeah, the future is looking bright. Okay, Sigma and Diana Saldana. I didn't say I have a code with Glam Light. Like I said, I did buy the Scooby-Doo collection on my own. I was sent this Barbie collection. My code is Heather Austin. I have a code with Sigma. My code is Heather Austin 10. I actually had the pleasure of meeting Diana Saldana in person. And you see her online and she's beautiful. You're like, how does it feel to be God's favorite? Like when you look like that. <laughs> 
I'm joking, of course, but she is beautiful in person as well. You see online, she stepped out of the screen, like that's her. She's beautiful and very, very kind person. This palette is very Diana. If you are looking for a good neutral palette, this is beautiful. And I really like that Sigma played around with textures. These formulas are very beautiful. This gold shade right here, Gold Getter, has such a beautiful high shine, like I want to say a flaky texture, but don't let that scare you. Like flaky in a good way. I like to see texture and shadows, different formulas, depth, everything. They just did a great job. I really like that she gave us a little mauve lavender in here. I like that she gave us a blue. This, I, I feel like this palette is a palette that I could see a lot of people hitting pan on. This could be an everyday palette for so many people. Now me, I'll wear a look like this to the grocery store. I don't care. Like I hear people talk about wearable and I'm like, anything is wearable if you wear it, right? But I can see a lot of people this being their everyday staple palette. Sigma consistently makes beautiful shadows. The mattes are easy to work with. The shimmers are very beautiful. You have multiple different shimmer formulas in here. So I think that makes this palette really interesting. I love a matte white. I love a matte black. I think there's some versatility in this palette. I think if you have that, you will really enjoy it. And I think it really represents both Diana and Sigma together. It's very much them coming together, collaborating to create a palette that is them. And I really, really like that. Last but not least, I'm gonna review the four unearthly Halloween palettes. Now, I am probably gonna start doing these videos a little more often, just like I did with my speed reviews on makeup, because as I was going through my palettes, that I'm in the process of reviewing. Which ones am I ready? Which ones am I not? I'm almost ready to review a few other palettes. So I'm probably gonna do another video like this next week or the week after, depending on the few that I need to play with some more. But the palette that I'm wearing today, I did film this look. I have a video using these beautiful palettes. I wanted to create some more looks for y'all. So I'll have that video coming. But yes, I did film this and I'm wearing So Strange. I have a video close up swatches. I really like this palette is bright. Bright shades, I feel like it represents the fun side of the Beetlejuice movie, which this palette was obviously inspired by. I love, love, love it. These flaky shimmers are so beautiful. I'm wearing this multi-chrome today. It's so incredibly beautiful. I love that the palette's open like a book. I love that we get a mirror. This palette is really, truly beautiful. I had somebody ask me if I felt like this was pastel tones and absolutely not. There's not a single pastel in here, all very bright, vibrant shades. I also have 1964. I love this one. Now, some of these palettes are still on an earthly site for pre-order. Some of them are not on the site, but I feel like, maybe I should say, I feel like, I'm hopeful that these will make a comeback. I don't know for sure, so don't take this as Heather said these palettes are coming back, but with all the hype that I'm seeing these palettes get, I'm hopeful that Unearthly will bring these back. So hopefully my review is still helpful to you or maybe you just want to shop your stash. I don't know. I'm never here to tell you to buy anything. Like even my collab palette with Adept, I'm not going to tell you, you have to buy this, go buy this right now. No, I love it. If you want to buy it, that's wonderful. I'm never here to tell you to buy anything though. 1964, stunning. I love that we have bright shades, but we also have a few neutral tones, the white, and then these two weird purpley brown shades. And I mean weird in the best way. We have these two pretty flaky shades. We have these bright tones up here. Very fun. This multi-chrome right here, 1964, one of the prettiest shadows in the world. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I love these tones down here. I've just really, really had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, the weirdos, I also 
love, 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 love. I feel like these palettes put fun spins on the movies they were inspired by. This is another beautiful multi-clone glamour right here. So gorgeous. I love that this palette is a little more deep, dark, grungy, but colorful grungy. We have another multi-chrome down here. We have some fun mattes with this green, black, purple, like very, very interesting color story very fun feel very inspired when i look at it and like i said i will have video coming more looks but actually last night i was looking at the warms my blood palette and um i told my husband i was like let's let's watch queen of the down tonight when it comes to like October I usually have like a list of classic movies that I like to watch every single year so I'm like let's watch Queen of the Damned because she's freaking beautiful in that movie uh, anyways the color story perfectly represents this movie like especially the scene where she rips the heart out of the other vampire and you're just like blood 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 like I love it it's so fun it's so fun if you've never seen the movie rent it okay that's one of the things I love about Amazon Prime side note I love being able to rent movies and they're usually like $2.99 to rent them like I love but I love that this palette let me hold it up right I love that this palette is half matte and half shimmer multi-chrome special shades I love that we have a beautiful deep red shimmer I love this I'm like okay we have healthy arterial blood pumping away from the heart and then we have the dark venous blood coming back like it's all represented in this palette and I love it I love it so much I also love that this was like the neutral palette for the color lover the colorful palette for the neutral lover I would be shocked if unearthly does not keep this one around because I think this palette will be a palette that so many people love. Like I said, my friends that love color like I do, we love this. My friends that wear brown eyeshadows day to day, I think they'll also have a lot of fun with this because it will maybe push outside the comfort zone, but also still give them the warm browns, the silvers, the grays that they love. So overall, I think that palette is a win and I miss Aaliyah and... I'm going to display this palette. Now that I'm like, I've created looks, not that I'm done with it, but done reviewing it. It's going to like set nicely and display. So really all of these, but this artwork I'm just in love with. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day, a great night, a great weekend, a great weekday, a great in between, whatever is going on with you. I hope you're doing amazing. Thank you for coming to my channel. I just want to remind you that the best way to support your favorite creators is to engage with their content. It is free, free, free to click on your favorite creator's video, to give them a thumbs up, to click that subscribe button, to comment. Listen, those of y'all who comment emojis you know you just leave me a little red heart a little black heart a smiley face honestly thank you so much it helps me out more than you know and i really really appreciate it so just just a reminder when you click on your favorite creators videos we appreciate that more than you know thank you so much for watching i just oh, i'm so excited i have so much content planned i've been uploading like every day i don't know if y'all have noticed but i'm just I have so much fun filming and editing and talking to y'all in the comments. So thank you for being here and I will see you very soon in another one. Bye.